Move to Amend is a grassroots organization. We're a coalition of over 400,000 people who have come together under the idea that corporations should not have constitutional rights. And so we have an amendment before. Well, we partnered with Hip Hop Congress because we see that law and culture are very much intertwined and that in order to change the law, we need to change the culture. And so um, we met a man named Shamako Noble who um, was the executive director of Hip Hop Congress and he talked to us about this idea of partnering with them for teach-ins where we would bring in, we would go into a community and bring in local artists with, that could uh, talk to us about hip hop and teach us about how hip hop was a liberatory art form. And um, I'll let Anita talk more about hip hop because, <laughs> but, um, and that we could talk to them about how the structure of the law has affected their, their very livelihood and has changed their culture. How has it? Well, a part of that is that the corporatization of hip hop, making it commodified into something that has been prepackaged and put out to the world, is actually taking money out of our communities because hip hop, the core of it is that you are, as an individual artist, building yourself. It's about entrepreneurialism as well. So, as an artist, you, yes, you want to be picked up, but you want to be picked up by an organization that's going to support you. And what they're doing now is actually taking the money away from it for the artist. Um, they are taking the money out of what they're doing as far as monetizing for themselves and giving themselves, but giving the corporation the wealth and not knowing that. So actually versing the artists with what is understood by, with the laws that we have in place. So how artists come together under our constitutional rights and how we can teach them to fight for themselves, to keep their money in their own pockets, to continue to keep the arts um, monetizing for itself as opposed to for corporations. We did these uh, teach-ins all over the country and so we were in Denver doing one and we were at a, a wonderful place that uh, was bring, bringing together uh, students in order to teach them hip-hop and they had a recording studio and all this and I went into the restroom and I looked up and up in the corner was Towns Van Zant and Steve Earle and I'm from Texas and I, Towns Van Zant was, and Steve Earle were personal friends of mine. I told you my ex-husband was a, a bass player. Um, and I looked up, and so I wrote an article, said, what the bleep do Towns Van Zandt and, and Steve Earle have to do with hip hop? And because I walked back in, I said, what the heck? What are my, my guys doing in here? And they were like, well, your guys are our guys, too. Because nice. <laughs> they're talking about the same thing. Nice. Yeah, liber liberation and revolution. Yeah, yeah. that's cool.